Election day may be November 5th, but here in Elkhart County, votes are already being cast for the 2024 presidential election. Well, early voting is a way for uh, voters to cast their ballot if they have some indication that they might be out of town. Um, and we have several different ways that uh, voters can vote early or cast an absentee ballot. Chris Anderson is in charge of all elections in Elkhart County and has seen great success in the in-person voting option, seeing lines to vote throughout the day. We've had up to at 1130 this morning, we're sitting at about 12,450 ballots have been cast in 13, 12 and a half days. One of those early voters was Goshen College student Alina Bergstresser, who felt a call to do her part. Well, I was just super excited to vote. Also, I don't have a car, so I was worried about transportation, so it worked perfectly. Over fall break, my mom and I drove there together. But I wanted, I was excited to like get my vote in and get, make space for other people on election day. Chris echoed Bergstresser's sentiment about college students having a voice. In terms of the young uh, voters, those that are college age, I think it's important to uh, be engaged in your community um, for college students. Is that the community where you go to college or is that the community where you're from? It's easy to get out and early vote, but Anderson has a couple key points to pay attention to. The one thing that you need to bring, remember to bring, is your photo ID. And that photo ID needs to be um, issued by either the state of Indiana or the federal government. Get out and vote. Uh, expect there to be a line today, the rest of the early voting, and on election day. Be prepared. To find more information about your voter registration status and places to vote early in Elkhart County, go to indianavoters.in.gov. For Globe News, I'm Seth Smith-Kaufman.